Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and a couple of weeks ago, I received these two really cool devices from Divoom. The big one is the Pixu 64, which is a 64 by 64 pixel art LED display. As you can see, it has this cool feature where it can show your YouTube subscribers and views count in real time, but it is also great as an awesome way to display your pixel art, or pixel art by others from a large community from the Divoom app. And the little one is the D2 Pro Retro Pixel Art Bluetooth speaker that also looks fantastic when displaying pixel art on its tiny 16x16 16 16 display. They both have a lot of different features and I will leave a link in the description of this video so you can check out the full info if you're interested. But today I want to focus on showing you how to make a 64x64 64 animated pixel art piece and a few 16x16 16 16 mini pixel art pieces in Procreate that we can then display on these fantastic devices. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I use the Pixel Art Experience brush set for Procreate. You can find it along with a free mini version for you to try out on my Gumroad page through the link in the top right corner of this video or in the description below. The first thing I did was to create a 64 by 64 pixel sized canvas and I thought it would be cool to make a little animation of a skull rotating on a loop. I had this one here that I could use for reference. I decided that I wanted the background to be dark, so I started with that. Then for the front view of the skull, I activated the symmetry tool. A quick reminder that you can see what brush I'm using at all times by looking at this rectangle here. For this project, since the size of these pixel art pieces is so small, I mainly used two brushes the one pixel size brush for when I wanted to be super precise, and the thin to thick brush that allowed me to be precise, but also press harder with my Apple Pencil to make thicker lines or quickly fill larger areas. At first I worked on the silhouette of the skull in the front view, and only when I was sure that the shape was convincing, I continued by adding the nose hole and the eye sockets. Once I had the front view, I grouped the two layers I used and created a second group of layers before activating Animation Assist in Procreate's Actions menu, the one with the wrench icon. Procreate interprets each group of layers as a single frame in your animation. I then started working on the side view for the skull. My idea was to paint the front, the side, and the back views, and paint the in-between frames later. I also only intended to paint the right views, because I could then duplicate those and flip them horizontally to make the left side views. A nice trick is to use the onion skin feature in Animation Assist and also lower the opacity in the layer you're working on so you can have a nice reference of the height for the different features of the skull. Then I proceeded with drawing the in-between frame. Having both the previous and the next frames visible at the same time helped me to know exactly where the middle points should be placed. Another cool thing about Animation Assist is that you can scrub through the timeline back and forth to check your progress and see if everything is looking right. I continued by painting the back view, which is pretty simple, as it is basically an elongated sphere.
From here I could then paint the frame between the side and the back views. Instead of duplicating already the right sides, to make the left sides by flipping the frames, I prefer to shade and detail all of the current frames, and this would allow me to save a lot of time. For this I basically alpha locked each frame, so that I could paint only inside the already established shapes, and using a mid-tone grey with a hint of green, I started painting the shadows in all the frames. Again I continued switching between the one pixel size brush and the thin to thick pixel brush depending on how precise I needed to be or how fast I wanted to cover some areas. It's interesting to work at this small size in pixel art because it really pushes you to solve the puzzle and find creative ways to represent details like the teeth in this skull. There's something about the pixel economy in this type of art that is really fascinating and satisfying. I also used a few of the pixel dithering brushes that are included with my brush set to add a few mid-tone shadows and details. And I basically worked like this for the rest of the frames. At the end as I mentioned before, I duplicated the right side frames and flipped them to make the left side frames. And I also thought it would look cool if aside from rotating, the skull was also floating a little bit up and down. So I did this just by moving the frames up and down by one more pixel on each frame. For the small pixel art, I created a 16 by 16 pixel sized canvas, and my idea was to paint different kind of foods. The 16 by 16 size is really challenging, but also super fun. I started by painting a pizza slice. At first I was a little unsure on how much detail to put on this, and you can see how in the second piece, I painted this strawberry with much less detail than the pizza. I realized it would be much easier to read. So I went back and redid some parts of the pizza slice. The rest of the time lapse is me painting a pear, a burger, some ketchup and fries, and at the end I decided to also do a little skull. If you know me a little bit, then you know that I can't help it but to paint skulls whenever I have the chance.
after everything was finished, it was just a matter of sending all these artworks to the devices using the Dboom app. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video, thanks again to Dboom for inviting me to check this out. Make sure to check the link in the description below for more info on the Pixu 64 and the D2 Pro devices. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the Pixel Art Experience brush set for Procreate, and many other sets and freebies that I have available, I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.